everybody, and welcome to the Chuck E. Cheese 1988 Grammy Awards show. It's just like the real Grammy Awards. With limousines, the big stars, golden statuettes, and bright lights. Oops. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't have all that fancy stuff, but we do have the brightest tunes of the year. In fact, our first song got lots of Grammy nominations. It must be good. Uh, no, my it's a bad. You cross the line. I'm gonna tell you right. Just show your face in broad daylight. I'm telling you on how I feel. Gonna hurt your mind. Don't shoot the kid. Come on. Come on. Play it on me. All right. I'm giving you. Your stuff, or let it be. I'm telling you, I just watch your mouth. I know your game, or what you're all about. Well, they say the sky's the limit, and to me that's really true. But, but my, my friend, you, you have seen nothing. nothing. Just wait till I get through, because I'm bad. We can change the world tomorrow If this could be a better place If you don't like what I'm saying Then won't you slap my face Because I'm bad I'm bad Come on Do you know I'm bad I'm bad You know it You know I'm bad I'm bad Come on You know And the whole world has to answer right now Just to tell you once again You know I'm bad I'm bad You know it You know I'm bad I'd like to welcome the man behind the song, Michael Jackson! Oh, oh my gosh, oh, he's gonna be right here! Oh, really? He's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna 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 it. I said I'd like to welcome Michael Jackson, but we couldn't afford to hire him. Oh, I'm not surprised. His bad album did make millions of dollars. Hold oh. it! His album was bad, and it made millions of dollars? That's right, Munch. Then I'm gonna make an album that's absolutely terrible and really clean up. <laughs> <laughs> well, our next tune is from an album that really did clean up at the Grammys. The very best country and western performance by a vocal group. Trio by Linda Ronstadt, Dolly Parton, and Emmy Lou Harris. Those memories of you still haunt me. Gee, that was nice. 
And you know, besides rock and country, the Grammys have awards for all kinds of music. Classical, blues, jazz... And don't forget Broadway musicals. There's even an award for the best recorded opera. La, 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 la! You know, we lose more glasses that way. And now that we've had our ears pop, let's hear the winner of the best pop performance by a vocal duo. The big hit by Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes. I've had the time of my life. I've been waiting for so long. Now I finally found someone to stand by me. We saw the writing on the wall as we felt this magical fantasy. Oh. Now, now with passion in our eyes, there's no way we could disguise it secretly. So we take each other's hand, cause we seem to understand the urgency. Feel about all of you. Yes, it is. Now we've had the time of our lives. <laughs> no, we've never felt this way before. Never felt this way. Yes, it's the truth. And we owe it all to you. We have the time. We'll be back real soon. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for our special musical salute to the 1988 Grammy Awards. Oh, it sounds more like a salute to the Ringling Brothers Barnum and B -B Bailey Circus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're just setting the scene for our first song. Winner of the best rock vocal performance of the year, Bruce Springsteen's Tunnel of Love. Sitting on a, on a little stool Takes the money from my hand Well, his eyes take a real long look at you Hands me two tickets Smiles and whispers good luck Cuddle up, angel Cuddle up, my little dove We'll ride down, baby Into this tunnel of love I've never been in a tunnel of love Is it real dark? Oh, sure, it has to be dark And is it real Harry? It would be for the girl sitting next to you, Munch. Hey! <laughs> There's a 
So we're going to have Larry, our stage technician, play some of the year's big winners on the record player. Songs by Paul Simon. Whitney Houston. You too. Us, Us too? too? No, not you two. You two the band. Oh, never mind. Hit it, Larry. Yes, sir, Mr. Cheese. No! Oh, 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 that hurts. Oh, that really sets my teeth on edge. I didn't know chickens had teeth. Larry, forget the record player. <sighs> Just hook up my compact disc player during the next tune, and uh, we'll try it again later, okay? Uh, whatever you say, Mr. Cheese. Well, to soothe our jangled noise, here's 1988's best song of the year from the movie An American Tale, Somewhere Out There. Somewhere out there Beneath the pale moonlight Someone's thinking of me And loving me tonight Somewhere out there Because Steven Spielberg wanted me to star in the movie, and my agent turned him down. Oh, <laughs> but seriously, let's try playing those other Grammy Award winners again. Hey, Larry, is my compact disc player set up? Yes, sir. Uh, Jackie, if Larry can't use a record player without scratching records, how is a compact disc player going to help him? You know, I yeah. was wondering the same mm -hmm. thing. That's a good question. You can't scratch records with a compact disc player because it doesn't have a needle. What does it have? Well, it has a laser beam. You gave Larry a laser beam? Oh, no. Hit the deck, everybody. Turn it off, Larry. Oh, oh, my goodness. Sorry, Mr. 
Mr. Cheese. Chucky, from now on, let's let people listen to records at home, and we'll just sing the songs here. Good idea, Tasma. Yes. And here's a great song to sing. 1988's best rhythm and blues performance by a vocal duo. Aretha Franklin and George Michael's hit, I Knew You Were Waiting. Like a warrior that fights and wins the battle. with more tunes and fun in a little bit. See you then. <laughs>